Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so lockdown. Where to source? Where do we get inventory? I don't need inventory. If you guys watched my video with all of my inventory, you guys know that I have probably enough inventory that I could list for a year. I have crazy amounts of inventory. However, um, not everybody is crazy like me and buys everything all through the summer and just stockpiles it. Um, so in this situation, it's good to have a lot of inventory. But um, for those of you that don't have a lot of inventory, there are resources, places that you can buy stuff online. Some of the things that I like to do is I like to shop on eBay to resell on eBay. And I, if you guys saw my um, jewelry haul, um, I bought a junk drawer jewelry lot and it ended up being like 344 pounds of jewelry. And you can get the whole story about that and how it transpired. It wasn't like it was 344 pounds of jewelry on eBay. It kind of was a small sale that ended up turning into a big sale, but I did it all through eBay. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about that, it's on my Monday night, um, not Monday night, my Monday video series. So I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. So go check that out. You can see when I went to pick it up. You can also see when I weighed it all. I had no idea it was 344 pounds. You can find out what I paid for it. And then I'm doing unboxings. I'm starting to do jewelry testing and different things on my Monday series. So check that out. Um, so sourcing. I like to source on eBay, to sell on eBay. I know lots of other sellers do it more than me, resellers. A lot of people source on Facebook. Um, if you join Facebook groups, a lot of the admin are coordinating things where they're starting a, um, a post and they're allowing people to post inventory. And it's sort of like a special occasion thing because of what's going on. I know uh, Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter, I think I saw in his group where he's doing it. Um, and that is the Resellers Resource Center, if you look that up on Facebook. And then I know I saw a post in the Boss Up group that um, Katie and Vicky are the admin of, one of the admin of that group. I know they're doing it in that group because I saw um, some of the people from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that had posted some of their lots that they were willing to sell to other resellers. Um, so yeah, Facebook groups, check out those two Facebook groups. They're fantastic. And I know they're doing that. And I'm sure there's other Facebook groups that are doing it also. Those are just two that I saw recently. All right. So I'm going to take you into eBay with a screen share and just kind of give you some little tricks and tips of how I look for things when I'm sourcing on eBay. So um, I'm just going to go into eBay and I'm going to put in junk drawer lot. And I'm going to go to ending soonest. And you can go by lowest. Um, let's go. Let's go with ending soonest. So this has 17 minutes. So basically, I just am filtering that way. And I'm looking for junk drawer lots. So this is mechanical pencils, pens, erasers, and it's a big lot. It's $19.99 plus shipping. So you got to be careful. You don't want to overpay for things. I'm going to zoom in here. So these are just some of the different things. And again, you're going to see a lot of literally junk. Um, I like doing ending soonest because you might be able to like get something really cheap. Like this is 1950 um, plus shipping. It has two hours left, but it doesn't say how many pounds. So, you know, you can click on it and go in and actually like try to dig a little deeper and see. It looks like it's just one flat row. So it's probably not a substantial amount. Let's see. Oh, it's nine and a half pounds. Um, but it does say repurpose, scrap, uh, junk drawer, repair jewelry. So there's probably not going to be a lot of wearable pieces in this lot. 
Uh, let's see what else we can find. So, you know, for those of you that collect and resell vintage and antiques, you know, you might look at something like this and be like, oh, I could sell that for this price and, you know, it might be worth it. Now, margins may not be as high. The thing that I like to do is I liked, okay, so let's just say example. I'm not saying this is a good deal. I mean, if you look here, it's $54.80 for shipping, which I have no idea why it would be so much. Um, I mean, it's not that big of a lot unless there's, I don't know. Let's see. Stand not included. Some items may be signed. Some may be broken, tangled. I mean, where is it located? Georgia? Why is it $54 for shipping? So you guys always look at the shipping because sometimes people inflate the prices of shipping. But let's go into see sellers other items. So I always go in and see what else they're selling. And if they're selling a bunch of jewelry, I am guessing that the items have been sorted through and picked through and they have picked out the best stuff. So let's go to, let's just type in jewelry. And you can see that they've got a few things, but like most of it is lots. And I'm wondering if that's an error because that shipping doesn't seem bad. So um, it looks like they're not jewelry resellers. So they're just lotting the stuff up and they're selling it to other resellers. Now, is the stuff good? No clue. I mean, you're really going to have to zoom in and look. But that's just an example of what I do to try to filter out um, maybe resellers that are just selling the items that they don't want to list individually. And I'm not saying that there's not still money to be made if somebody sells jewelry, because they may just be picking out the gold and the silver. And a lot of the costume stuff, they may just sell in like wholesale lots. So there can still be money to be made. Like maybe it's just bread and butter items. But if you have 25 necklaces that you can sell for $10 each, that's $250. And you pay $25 with free shipping. I mean, those are good margins. So like right here, this is an assorted junk, draw, junk drawer lot. So you just have to kind of go in and actually look at the items, maybe look up comps. Again, if you look at what the sellers are selling, if it's somebody that sells vintage and antiques, you know, they're probably going to pull the high dollar stuff and then lot up the other stuff for resellers that maybe want bread and butter items. Definitely can still make money, guys. I understand that the thrift stores are closing. It's not easy to get out right now and source. I mean, the governor is telling everybody to stay in. Um, at least in Ohio. So, you know, you got to look for other places to source. And eBay is a good place to source. Go to Mercari. Go to um, Poshmark. Look up Junk Drawer Lot. Um, you can also look up, if you're a clothing reseller, Clothing Lot. And let's just kind of see. Um, I'm going to put in like huge clothing lot and see if we get anything else. Okay, so this is paper dolls. Well, yeah, that's not really what I'm looking for. But um, huge lot of name brand clothes. So $12 are best offer, but I don't see shipping prices, which is weird. So you can look that way. Again, it is going to take some time. Here's Barbie clothes if you like um, to sell Barbie clothes. So you buy a lot of it and then you sort it and you sell them in small lots or individually. Now, I would be looking for vintage Barbie clothes if I was looking. Probably not the modern stuff going to bring you. It's probably not going to bring you uh, the margins that you're looking for. But there's definitely things that you can look up. You can look up vintage toy lot. And people might miss something. You know, they might not know about something that you know about. So here's Bratz. So there's toy lots, there's clothing lots, but you know, filtering it down is the hard part and finding the lots that 
have some resale value. You can also search by lowest price. So I'm let's let's go back to junk drawer. So lowest price, but this is the lowest price, but it still has six days, but you can go in, you can click on that and you can watch the item and you know, you'll get an alert on your phone that says this item is ending soon. And then you can decide based on what it's at, if you want to bid on it, like this one's 99 cents, but it has a buy it now of 24 99 and a dollar shipping. So it's, um, you know, just different vintage men's items. So there's people that do coins. There's, you know, there's so many different types of junk drawer lots and you can maybe try typing in wholesale lot. I don't know. Um, I like junk drawer because I feel like it pulls up a good variety of things and it's kind of fun to just look. And that's how I found my junk drawer lot. So, um, another way to source is YouTube. Um, Donatella Bodolino, she does um, online YouTube auctions. So basically you go to her channel when she's having an auction and she is auctioning off stuff that she gets from storage units. She also gets items from like, uh, a, a, I forget what it's called. It's like a person that sells her stuff, uh, not pallets. Like she bulk buys from, from places. So storage units are amazing place to get items. And she doesn't want to list it all individually on eBay. So what she does is she lots these items up and she brings them to you on YouTube. And then you buy directly from YouTube. Um, auctions for you is another site that does this. And she works hand in hand with Donatella. So sometimes they're on T's channel, which is auctions for you. And then they're also on Donatella's channel. I have both of their YouTube channels linked down below in the description of the video. Again, they mostly sell lots of items which are great for resellers. Now, sometimes you can get a bolo. Sometimes you can get bread and butter. It just really depends on what they're auctioning off that night. And then they also sell a lot of stuff that's great for personal use. Um, sourcing on Mercari is also a great way to source. I know tons of people that you can set up alerts on your phone for Mercari. And then when somebody lists something in that category, Mercari will send you a, um, a, uh, an alert. So that's always nice. And then, you know, Poshmark's a little more tricky. I'm trying to pull up something here on my channel. Um, I, I, I don't know. I can't see really sourcing on Poshmark just because it's, it's not really, I, I don't know. They do have mystery boxes. Another one is thread up. I know there's a lot of resellers that purchased, um, purchase items from thread up. Uh, they have, I've seen resellers buy shoes. I've seen people buy, um, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, just a second. Um, I'm in another screen trying to pull something up for you guys. Um, jeans, jeans. I see a lot of pipe people buying, uh, jeans from thread up flipping hippos has a lot of videos, um, that, uh, she buys from thread up. Sorry. I was totally like working behind the scenes here to pull up something else for you guys to see. So I wanted to show you guys this. This is my playlist for, I bought a junk drawer lot on eBay to sell on eBay over a hundred pounds. So you guys can check out that video. And then here is where I weigh it. And then this is an unboxing that I did of some of the items. Here's another unboxing another unboxing. Here's some wood jewelry I got. And this one I'm getting, uh, I think this will be released before I release this video. So this one is, uh, I'll probably release this one Monday. The diamonds, I found diamonds on Monday. So 
and I'll probably list this one that I'm doing now on Tuesday. So go watch the I found diamonds video. And I didn't find the diamonds in my uh, bulk buy from eBay, but um, I did use my new gemstone tester to test and I found diamonds. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So again, I was not planning on buying 344 pounds of jewelry. Oh my goodness. It, it just kind of worked out. And that's another thing. If you watch the, I'm not sure. I think it's in the one where I weigh it. I kind of tell you how that all transpired and how I ended up getting 344 pounds. Um, so it's a, it's a little learning trick tip. I've never done it before, but it ended up working out. So check that video out. And again, these are just a few ways to source during a lockdown. Um, yeah, use your resources. Um, we have lots of resources. There's lots of ways and it's shipped to your door. That way you're staying home, you're staying safe. You're getting good inventory that you can still resell. And you know, I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. I'm sure you guys know of other ways to source online. So, um, I think people do goodwill.com, but I'm sure that goodwill.com is completely like overwhelmed with people like buying from there right now. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, what that one's called. What is it called? Everything but the house. Uh, I don't know if there's really stuff that you can buy to resell, but there could be, might be a place to check. Um, yeah. So where, where are you guys sourcing? If you have any other tips, comment below in the description, um, down in the comment section and be sure to like comment, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. My fan just kicked on. So sorry if I'm pixelating or getting blurry or sounding like a robot. I don't know how to fix that. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.